I wasn't working and studying, so it's hard to get friends because you know you don't have chance because you are you are new in the country. On the beach, you can see there is many guys from different countries. It's good to communicate with the people. I think this is the easiest way to make friends. It brings together a lot of refugees and um, asylum seekers, but. Just from that, it's not seen as, oh, we're playing with a group. It's just a group of friends getting together. <laughs> Some people from um, Syria, from UK, from uh, Eritrea, and I am from Sudan. It is a strong community. It's, it's that sense of community, that, that sort of togetherness, bringing people together and showing there's, there's no language barrier. And that's what's great about football is there's no language barrier. St. Paul are a second division German football club, a very poor one at that. Um, they've not got any major honours, they're terrible to watch, but the club's got a worldwide fan base which comes from the politics of the club. In the 1980s there was a, a massive squatter movement in Hamburg and the squatter movement brought with it sort of left-wing politics to St Paulo, the, the district and, and the, the football club. The team stands for like no homophobia, no racism, no sexism, a very equal opportunity sort of team. It's a nice team, it's a for refugee team, it's a a uh, borderless team. <laughs> it is very, very nice team. I'm happy with, to play with San Pauli. Every Sunday, play, people play in here, and my friends play in, as well here from Syria. Um, so we set up Yorkshire San Pauli just over four years ago now. The idea was just to meet in a pub. There were five of us to start with, just to meet in a pub, and um, basically watch a game every month or so just to meet up as, as a group of mates and watch football and, and that's all it would plan to be. The, the, the fan club grew beyond our wildest expectations and I think after the second year we had about 70-80 members. From that we have a membership fee which was the, the idea behind it was just to um, basically cover the cost of running the fan club. So uh, the cost of a website and, and other bits and bobs but we ended up having a surplus amount of money so we said, well, what are we going to do with all this money that, we, that we've got? So well, we should give it to a, a charitable organisation, some of that's sort of in the same ethos as, as St. Paulo as a football club. So we started a link with a local refugee charity called PAFRAS. This is the Positive Action for Refugees and Asylum Seekers, based in Leeds. And they hold a, a weekly uh, drop-in session for people, offer advice, they offer meals, they offer sort of clothing and things as well. The first aspect of our help with them was to offer financial donation. But what we also wanted to be doing was to offer some sort of physical support as well and some sort of um, actual link with them rather than just giving them a bit of money every now and again. What we found from talking to them was that they weren't that interested in watching football. They were actually interested in playing it, but there were no services available for them to play it. You know, the cost of it, the lack of kit. So that's what we did here. You know, we, we played now and again, but we said, well, we'll set up a weekly session instead. It was the Football for All project. It was basically to invite as many people down as we can. We'll cover cost, high, uh, cost of pitch higher, um, we'll get some kit together, and you know we'll, we'll try and do it that way. So Power League thankfully gave us a bit of a, a sizable discount on pitch to make it affordable for us. Hello, I am Abdul Kader. I met them last year, I think February, March, something like that. So I've been Bafras, we used to go to Bafras I come first time, it was very, really, very nice and we enjoy, you meet new people, you know, feel you are out your country. For example, I'm talking about me, I am out my, outside my country, so these people, they help us to enjoy and we get friends, we get every, everything and enjoy our times. I started uh, to, to play with this San Paulo Extra team uh, early, early today. And really, it is uh, very interesting to be with a group of people from different uh, diversity and different uh, cultures. Uh, really, I found some friends here, and it is nice, actually. The, the best thing about this is there's not an us and them mentality with us. Everyone's mates at the end of the day, you know, from people who have just joined today, who are just coming in down and putting kit on and playing. At the end of the day, they'll make, they'll make friends and they'll, they'll meet new people, and hopefully they'll come back. And, while St. Paul is the sort of the idea behind it, it's more than that now. Hopefully to get new people, go to other cities, play matches for fun, to meet new people. I lived in Bristol for a while and it's similar sort of stuff going on in Bristol and it's yeah. I think you can find it everywhere and it always will be from the grassroots and there's 
nothing wrong with that. Probably that's the best way of doing it because that's when you start to feel a, a belonging and an ownership of your community and what you're doing. It's simple really. It's just a group of mates that turn up and play football and if you want to come and join in, come and join in. It costs three quid if you can afford to pay three quid. If you can't, it doesn't matter. And we've had massive donations for kit and boots and socks and because obviously we, we can't provide all that ourselves. So it's not just Yorkshire that's helped us, but the, we've had fan clubs from Brazil, from Greece, Spain, um, German fan clubs who've sort of taken on the idea of what we've done and helped us cover it as well. Um, you know, whether it's that's financial donations or sending kit to us. First day for me, it was in Leeds, so I like Leeds. I, I would like to stay here. Thank you for thank you, Saint Pauli, and uh, thanks to the guys here who's uh, supporting this nice club. They they used to go to Germany to our club. I will go with them next time to see my my club. Yeah. So I'm very happy to meet these people and to play here because I like football too much. So when I play football, I feel I am king. Yeah. <laughs>